What's up my fellow AEA6 enthusiasts? Uh, here we are again in the garage. Another hot day in August. This is going to be just a quick short video about uh, me putting on the side moldings on the AE86. Whether I've been debating whether or not to do it. Uh, but I kind of like the look with the moldings on it. It also serves the purpose that um, protects your car, you know, from like minor door dings and things like that. There's a lot of that going on, as you know. Uh, so, what I am going to do is go through the basically the, the process. Um, there's a little bit, in, it's a little bit involved, but most of it's pretty straightforward. These are going to be used moldings, OEM moldings that uh, came with, you know, came with on the car before I painted it. And after the paint job, I looked at it, you know, and, and was just contemplating whether or not I should uh, add them. And have ultimate, and I've ultimately decided to go ahead and add them on. Um, so. Let's go ahead and uh, start with that. So if you're getting tired of seeing my car in the garage all the time, uh, let me tell you, I actually was, I'm, I'm in the process of doing a, an entire fuel system revamp. And um, what this is what happened. So let me break to that footage real quick. Mother. So yeah, now I'm in the I'm waiting again for parts uh, for the for a new fuel pump to come in. So I was in the process of, of doing all that, and uh, now I gotta wait again for parts. So I figured I would just I would just do this uh, quick little video about the the moldings. It might also um, include uh, some bonus footage of uh, of the the installation of the rear quarter trim, quarter windows trim, right here. So I haven't really found a good place to put that into a video because it's kind of boring to be honest with you but some but if you you know if you want to know how to do something and I'm not saying my that way is the, the, the way to do it or, or the correct way or the only way um, I'm just saying that's how I did it and you can watch me and maybe learn from mistakes that I make or or whatever or if I do it or if I did do a good job then you know maybe maybe go that route but um, you know everything worked out good as far as the installation goes. Uh, so I guess I guess uh, you could use my method, and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and include that at the, end, at the end of this video. So here's a few things that you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need your your moldings, your side moldings here. Um, I got a set over here and over there. This is the passenger side, and. Um, going to need like a towel, some 3M super strength molding tape, and some masking tape. All right. Now on the back of these, the used moldings, I had uh, uh, the old tape that was on here holding the, holding it onto the car, and it was you can't just peel it off. You got to remove it in a in a certain way. And I've I opted for um, mechanical removal uh, as opposed to using a chemical to try to get it off. Because I don't know if you could actually use a chemical chemical to get that off. It's it was really on there. Uh, so what I did was I started using a um, sandpaper on on a uh, on a dual action uh, sander. I went to 80 grit, and it came off pretty good, but it, I wasn't completely satisfied with that. Um, so I, I ended up ultimately going to to a, a wire wheel uh, on my drill bit, let me, or on a drill. Let me show you right here. This right here, just three dollars from Harbor Freight, and uh, was able to. Um, get it down you can see it leaves little bitty grooves in it but you know that's not a big deal and actually it was it was actually worse than this but I went back over it with the 80 grit sandpaper and kind of smoothed it out 
just for whatever reason I don't know uh, but that's just optional here it is on the the other pieces the smaller pieces now what I'm gonna do this was actually just for me putting a this dirtiness right here is just for me cleaning it on the garage floor and it picked up some dust or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and use some rubbing alcohol and uh, or maybe some acetone to just go ahead and clean that off real quick okay I use the acetone to clean it off and I got the two do doors right there and then both fenders and the rear quarters um, and also I highly recommend because you know you clean it off and then it's gonna have like a real dull look to it this stuff right here this back to black by mother's trim and plastic restore it it just um, man it's it, uh, it really makes makes your stuff look new um, because like here here you go right there so it, it works it works really well and it's also like it protects it protects your stuff first of all and then also it, it uh, holds up to to uh, to the weathering pretty well I, I got the two side pieces uh, up against the level because the driver's side was a little bit bowed uh, so I wanted to make sure that it was straight before I put it on the car so now that I got everything ready to mount um, I'm gonna mask off a couple of lines down the sides that way I'll know exactly where to put the moldings because it's kind of it's kind of um, like I was saying it's a straightforward process but you want to make sure you get it right on the first first time you don't get any redos with this with this uh, tape um, it's super strength and you know if you've ever taken the body moldings off you know and then you know you know uh, that uh, you only you only get one shot so I'm gonna try to do this right the first time okay so the first step I'm going to what I've done already off camera was I've wiped down the everything uh, where the trim is going to be and also the matching tape uh, wiped it down with a microfiber cloth and some uh, rubbing alcohol and now we need to figure out where we're going to put the tape and from what I've seen uh, online it looks like it goes in line with the the molding goes in line with the rear bumper line right there so it goes across and all the way up and meets to the front bumper maybe no actually no it wouldn't it wouldn't meet to the front bumper because it's actually the front bumper line is higher than the rear so um, I guess I'm going to make a line starting from this rear bumper line come across it and go right just above the decals and we'll see how that looks okay so I guess I'm gonna start over here go this Tape bend, so you got to be careful with that too. And the top of the trim, or top of the molding, will be at the bottom of this tape. What I want to do might actually be, I'll double check it, but it might actually be easier if I measured from this body line and down uh, so let me do that and make sure I get a consistent number here okay I'm getting about three and a quarter right there Alright, okay, here we got the car, 
the lines uh, ready to go. All right, here's another way to tell where your molding is going to go. Uh, should I, I guess I could have done this in the beginning, but this right here, you see how it fits perfectly with this fender line right here. And you want to leave a little bit of space on the door there. You don't want it like right on the edge like that. You want a little bit of room there. So um, if it was up higher, then it would look weird, you know, but there would be too much space on either side. But this is the perfect spot right here. And if it's too low, then, you know, it's too tight of a fit right there between the door opening and the front fender. So right here is where we want to be, just like that. Same principle for the rear. All right. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay this tape out, kind of how it, they had it from the factory which was basically a, well on this, on these little pieces, it was just one big strip, but on the, the long door ones, it has two strips going down the top and bottom and a little cutout here and here. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. So one side is, one side is uh, when you peel it off, if this is sticky, so we'll go ahead and put this on the, trim okay I went and I changed the door line because I was afraid there was like a lot some bends in it that it would be hard to see uh, with just the tape up there but with this yellow tape it's actually it doesn't bend at all so um, I knew that this fender was good and then that side was good. So if I could connect the two, then we should be, should be uh, fine. So um, I went ahead and just put the yellow tape all the way across the door. That way I know it's a nice straight line and uh, I feel more comfortable like that. So um, I'm going to now do the fender side here and we'll see if we can't screw something up. So let's try it out. Okay, here it is, um, the tape on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these, the whole piece, uh, all the tape off because it's a small piece, so I can just kind of look at it pretty good and just kind of fit it on there. Um, you know, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the longer piece in just a moment. But for the shorter pieces, just go ahead and peel all the backing tape off. All right, so we got it looking like this, and here goes nothing. I'm just gonna try to apply it. You gotta get it right the first time, otherwise we're gonna have a real big mess here. You gotta make sure, basically this line is, is looking good. You want, a, you want a few millimeters gap there. Go. I think that'll work right there for that piece. Well, let's go ahead and do the the door. Okay, guys, I apologize. Um, I did the whole driver's side, um, the door part, and I realized I did not hit the record button. So this is the passenger side. I'm going to show you how I did that, and it's I guess the quote unquote hardest part of the um, of uh, the installation. Um, because it's a long piece and it's you know it's bendy it bends you know and so I've used these um, these three pieces of tape to kind of hold it in in place all right and 
Now I'm going to show you how to install it, or how I am installing it. Maybe there's a different way, I don't know. But this is how I'm going to do it. So, um, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but you just don't want to screw it up because, you know, once this tape goes on, it's pretty much going to be pain in the butt to remove. So, and I didn't want to do show this side on camera because it's, there's hardly any space over here. It's harder for me to work, and the lighting isn't as good, so I apologize. But uh, hopefully, I think I think it'll I think it'll work out. Um, so what I'm going to do is, you know, I have the two strips of tape on the on the opposite side going down the middle, and I have one small piece right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm take that off, and then take that small piece off on both sides, the, the this side and the the other end because once I get this going I'm not going to be able to peel it back off and and remove that small piece of tape uh, so you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second so let's go ahead I'm going to take this off Move it from the bottom I guess careful not to mess up my vinyl and another thing is I'll, I'll take I was going to say on this on my final video um, on this restoration about the the vinyl uh, I remember I don't know if you saw I don't know if you remember or if you saw the video where I installed it and it was there was a lot of air bubbles I had the issues with the air bubbles well those air bubbles are now gone so the vinyl looks awesome and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out so um, if I sounded a little bit negative I uh, apologize for that. It was, you know, um, it was just my initial, the of the only initial install there. It, there was a, there was a lot of air bubbles, but um, you know, just over time they just go away, I guess, from the from the heat or whatever. So I just wanted to let that be known, and I'll probably mention it again later on in, in a different video, but uh, just just in case for now. So like you see how. There's a small piece right here. I'm going to take that off and and also on the other side. All right, as I mentioned before. Sorry, I like to re I repeat myself a lot, but only when it's important. All right, so that's removed. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll go ahead and take this off. I'm going to go ahead and start these the bigger pieces. And what that's going to do is allow me to apply this and peel it at the same time. show you what I mean. Alright, so get a good, well, that's not good, get a good strip going here. Alright, so I'll hold it like this and go ahead and line this up. Now, this part is on. Now I'm just going to remove the back like this, pull it out, and just kind of keep this. You see how it's sagging right here? Sagging right there. Just when you get to that area, make sure you, you hold it up. That way it doesn't adhere, adhere sagging, saggy like that. All right. Tape a little bit better. Okay. So now, this. Okay. And then do the bottom. Alright, 
that sucks. Oh, shoot. That was the, I had to, I ran out and I had to put a little bit more on there. It didn't, it, it didn't actually break, I just ran out and that was a new piece. So what I'm gonna do, that's actually kind of good that I showed you that, because sometimes this will break. What you can do, what you'll do is you just go start from the other end and work back this way. But I'm gonna do the top side first, because that's, I'm gonna do this top section all the way down and then we'll go to that side and come back this way. So before, before we do the whole top side, we want to get this bottom side started. straight no sags or crazy curves so happy with that result And to, to end this segment of the video, and the next segment will be the, the rear trim. But here's this, uh, here's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good with it. Uh, and I like the way that it contrasts with the, uh, the color of the gray, the black and the gray. I like the way that, that contrasts, so um, that's pretty neat. So anyways, there it is. Uh, hope you like it. Um, and... You know, either way is, is good. I like I like it without it as well. But at least this way, I'm going to have a little bit of protection from door dings and things like that. All right, we're going to do this trim on the for the back uh, quarter panel windows. And um, as you can see, I've kind of got it masked off a little bit. Uh, you don't want to, you know, I don't want to scratch the paint with this trim. It's uh, it's got some sharp edges on it, and it can get a little crazy sometimes. So. Um, just put some masking tape around 
the perimeter and hope for the best. I'm going to actually put another strip down here along the bottom. So let me do that real quick. Okay, if you're like me and you had your rear quarter windows sealed, um, you want to go ahead and, and look to make sure that they put the clips back in the right place. Um, beforehand, they had they actually had these two clips down here and uh, uh, and these two clips up there. So um, yeah, they messed that up, but no big deal. I just took them out and replaced them. I mean, you know, switched them. Um, now you want to go and when you when you remove the trim a lot of times you're gonna break you're gonna break these clips too because if you look closely these little plastic This this part right here is very brittle Right there, and it just it'll just It'll just break so for example. I got these three right here three of them. They're all broken So they're pretty much done so here's what a good one should look like. You see at the top, it's got that little, I don't know, that little rise, rise in it right there. But here, you can see it's broken. And this one as well, and this one as well. So what you do? Well, you gotta go to your bag of spares. Luckily I have a whole bag of clips here. Find you three good ones and replace them. That one's not good. So I got these two. Those are good. These two are good. So I'll just get three of them. And we'll change those out. Okay, to put them back in, you just want to make sure that the rubber piece is still there. Uh, if not, it goes it goes around this square, and you just push basically push it in like this and then you just tighten the screw okay now I got all the clips ready to go they're all good um, back in here now let's say you're in the unfortunate situation where you don't have replacement clips but like let's see I had three broken ones right and I had one good one but on the other side let's say they were good so I would just bring one from the other side and maybe put it that put it over here or over here Or I'd have two good ones like right here, you know, and then just skip this one skip this one You know bad clip bad like good clip bad clip good clip bad clip And then have that you know just kind of space them out to where You could it's you could still mount your your trim pieces up, you know, they don't have to all be good But you know, it's better obviously if they are but I'm just saying, you know, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, because these are old cars, we're just trying to make do, and uh, they don't, and Toyota doesn't even offer these clips anymore, right here. I've seen them on eBay for the coupe. See, these are hatch specific, these, these specific, these type right here. The coupe, I believe, uses uh, this, these yellow and black ones, and they have a, uh, like a green one or something like that, but um, they're, they're like $300 for the set. And that's on eBay, you know, someone, you know, has put a lot of uh, drift tax on there, but, um, you know, they're just, they're hard to get a hold of, so um, if you don't want to pay that kind of price, then, you know, just stagger them out to where you can make do. I was fortunate to um, get a hold of somebody who had a, who had uh, seen a hatchback SR5 in a junkyard, and um, I contacted him and, and he was he was nice enough to uh, go 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 to the junkyard and, and pull those clips for me for a, uh, a fee of course but you know you got to do what you got to do so um, yeah so I'm, I'm fortunate in that aspect that I was able to get these clips but they're very hard to find nowadays thing to do with your masking tape is go around the perimeter and mark where your clips are like this that way you'll know where to push and put pressure 
you know, while the trim is up in place. So. And now from here you want to just push down and it'll it should clip while also holding the top in as well. Like that. Alright. So move on down. There we go. Just like that. See, it's good it's good to put those there because that way you'll know where to push. I'm going to take that off because it was hard for me to get under this clip with that elbow there. I wasn't able to get it flush on the glass. At least I think that's what it was. Yeah, there we go. So now, The top piece is a little bit different on these two clips right here it actually has cobweb, like a these two I don't know ledges I'll call them and they they just come in right behind you can't just you can't like click clip them in you got to slide it slide it in <coughs> so Actually, since it slides this way, I'm going to go ahead and set this piece in. All right, I'm sorry if my arm was in the way most of the time there, but I couldn't help it. Um, so I was, I got the those little ledges behind the two clips, and I and sliding the end into the this this uh, elbow at the same time. You kind of have to do it all at the same time. So that top piece is in. Now we just need to secure. We just need to secure this back side right here. Hopefully, it won't be too hard. So I took it off just a little bit. I took it back just a little bit to give me room in order to get this piece in. Good. So now we're we're all in except for just these four clips, and they work the same way. Just secure the part on the glass, and you just push back, and hopefully we'll hear a little clip. I think I did already. There we 
go. Again. And there we go. Alrighty. Now let's remove the masking tape and see how it looks. Alright, here it is with that trim in. It looks really sharp. It really makes a difference in the overall look of the car. Just some just something simple like that, some trim. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video um i hope uh if you made it this far i salute you um because i know you know stuff like this is not the most exciting uh, but you know it is part of the restoration process so uh, i'm showing that and um you know there you have it um pretty straightforward process uh just just a little know-how involved but once you kind of see how it's done, it's really not that hard. Um, now in the future, I've got actually some big plans for this car. Uh, I'm not going to reveal it just yet, but just make sure that you are subscribed so you know that so you, that you will get updates on this um, build uh, because I'm going to do something pretty crazy and uh well not crazy crazy but it, i mean it's done before it's been done before but it's just a direction that i was not previously uh going to going to go about so um you are the first to hear about it right now and um uh, it's gonna be it's going to be awesome i'll just say that so um but it won't be happening for for a while you know i got i got to take care of things in my personal life first you know we the baby is uh he's almost one years old now so we're looking forward to that and uh you know growing as a family and so basically that's it guys i hope um to see you soon next video will be finishing up this fuel system uh total total fuel system revamp uh so uh, stay tuned for that all right take it easy thank you